this video we're going to build a formula in Google Sheets that takes the difference between an end date and a begin date and reflects it as the number of months and then the remaining days between the two dates and also the number of years remaining months and remaining days between those two dates. So we'll get started here. I'm going to clear this out. So we're going to start from scratch here. And you can see we have three projects. We have a begin and an end date for each of these three projects. And we want to get elapsed time in months and then leftover days. So we're going to begin with the date diff function. It has three inputs, a start date, an end date and a unit, the unit you want to measure. So our start date is going to be our begin date and end date is going to be our second input and then the unit we want to measure. Well the first thing we want to pull back is months. So I'm going to begin with M enclosed in double quotes for months and keep in mind that this measures completed months so if it's one day shy of a full month it's not going to count that last month in the count it essentially rounds down so if I change this to July 14th you can see our number moves up to 20 So now what we want to do is add some text and also add a number of leftover days. So I'm going to use the AND symbol to join some text. So when I do that you can see it just produces 19 months. So now what we want to do is tack on the number of days left over after completed whole months. So I'm going to use another AND symbol, paste our function in there. This time we're going to change this to MD because what this tells the function to do is, okay, find the number of completed months and then just return me leftover days, the number of leftover days after the completed months. That's what MD will do. So now I want to alter this text a little bit. I'm going to add a comma here and then a space. And then I'm going to do a, another AND symbol to join some more text, the space, and then the word days. So you can see that produces 19 months completed months with 29 days left over and we get outputs for our other projects so now what we want to do is a similar thing but this time in years completed years I should say completed months and then leftover days so I am going to copy what we did over here and we're just going to alter it. So this time I want our first date diff function to reflect the number of completed years. We're going to change this to years. We're going to change our second date diff measure input to YM because we want to look at completed years and then return the number of leftover months. And finally, I'm going to copy this here, use another AND symbol to join it. And this time we want MD for number of completed months to return leftover days. So I'm going to add a final AND symbol to join text and then type the word days. 
So you can see we have one year, seven month, months, and 29 days between our begin and end date. And you can see here we didn't have a full year in this project number three, so it returned zero years, four months, and 23 days. So that is how you can display elapsed time between a begin date and an end date in terms of years, months, and days. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.